Hi everyone. Can I let you in on a little secret? It's Vlogmas. Day number 16. It's also Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to Vlogmas number 16. We are moving right along. I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. It really means a lot to me. I'm really having fun, kind of dressing up. I'm trying to mix these up, having a little more short ones and things in here, not only to save my voice, but to save you guys from having to spend too much time with me because that's not healthy. Yeah, that's not healthy to spend all day with me. But anyway, we are going to be doing Vlogmas number 15. Yeah, 15, right? And um, so I've got the wine, but I'm not going to open it tonight. I've got quite a few building up in my refrigerator. It's also Friday. I'm going to open up a Wink wine because it's only my... <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm still kind of cold. It's only my second bottle for my, I think, my 11th box. And I'm going to have to, they're going to send me some recommendations based on my reviews. And if I don't review those, I may get something if I don't like it. So I want to kind of get my wink done. But anyway, the wine that I will be having later, and I do like Sauvignon Blanc. So season's greetings. We got nice candy cane and Sauvignon Blanc from California still intact we will be having this a little later maybe not until january but anyway the coffee of the day and last night i did have my hot chocolate with some whipped cream it was really good uh this is the donut shop duos this one is good too it's white chocolate and vanilla flavored coffee and it's not going to focus, but this was very good. I will have this, if not midday tomorrow, maybe like later in the afternoon. My chocolate of the day. I may have forgotten to pull it out. Let's see. So day 15. This is why I try to do these in advance because I forget where they are. All right. Door 15 right here. Sometimes it takes a while to find these. So it is another one of these little Lint mini truffles. I love these. These are really, really good. And my nutcracker of the day. I love, this is the Snowman King. And I forgot which one he is. He's, he's an Albright. And for a while, once, once we moved to Minnesota and we went to a town called Stillwater. So fun it's a really nice place to go a lot of shops a lot of nice places to walk to walk around there and you got the bridges that you can see and sitting by the water they got a couple of wineries there that i haven't been to in so long because i don't go to places by myself but they got some really nice restaurants and that's just quaint shops and antique shops it's just a really nice place to walk around except yeah when we were moving here from minnesota and i really when we were moving here from Rhode Island, and I really didn't know the mapping too well. And so I thought, oh, this looks like a good road up to because we're moving to Forest Lake in Minnesota. And little did we know, it was lumberjack days in Minnesota and Stillwater, so a ton of cars, vehicles. So we got Rick driving the truck and the camper. I'm driving my blazer and towing the boat behind me. And we'd been on the road for a few days. We were tired and stop and go traffic. It was not fun, but we knew we wanted to go back. And there was a store there called Seasons Teak. So many, every kind of Christmas decoration that you could think of. And that was when I fell in love with these Albright nutcrackers. And I joined a club and I think 
this was one of my perks for joining the club was you could get a special nutcracker that was offered only to the club members. So this was the Snowman King that year. And he's just adorable. He's got his blue hat on. He's got stars. He's got a crown with some rhinestones in there. And it's got his little snowflake here. And um, his vest with buttons. His carrot nose. Love him. And yeah, so I was getting like a couple of nutcrackers every now and then from them. And I think they've since gone out of business. Of course, we moved to the other side of the state from there. But um, yeah, they were really nice program that they had though you know you spent you get your card stamped and then you would get some really good discounts and I was able to get some really good discounts on some Steinbeck and some Albright nutcrackers there love those ones but that's why not why we're here today we're here for the ugly Christmas dress of the day so I think this is only the second time I've worn this hat I don't know if my lights are going off or not but we've got some light bulbs here and there's like some LED lights in front of them um, the earrings that I have on are actually from Vino, my uh, Christmas Oh Ho Ho box. Love these little uh, ruby type earrings. I've got my Honora pearls on. This dress is a little, um, it's a little snug, I'm not going to lie. But you know, I'm only going to have it on as long as I do this video. So might as well leave it on and put it in the rotation for next year. So it's a little off the shoulder dress. This is like a really nice eyelash type of sweater material. And we've got all kinds of like sequins here we got lollipops we've got gingerbread men we got candy canes and we got candy and bows and it's just a nice little fun summer dress we've got some ugly sweater details like i say it's a little snug maybe this is three maybe four years old i may have got it at kohl's but i really can't be sure at this point this i did get from amazon this year i've got on some heidi dell strings here my green ring right there and then this one is a Heidi Dose ring as well all right so since we're not doing uh, the wine of the day from the advent calendar we are doing one from my wink wine club and this is like my 11th box I believe and it's only the second bottle that I've had from this box and this is a 2020 it's a Tempranillo from Spain sustainably farmed it's organic grapes vegan friendly so I am going to actually shut this off because this side I didn't charge it last night and it's a little slow so I will be right back once I open it alrighty so I'm back I got my bottle open I poured it in my glass here this is again this uh, little glass I love these from snap elf I know I'm going to be purchasing some more throughout the year next year it is a nice deep red kind of like a purpley red all right let's kind of stir that around mm, it smells nice it smells something tart back here maybe like cranberry but sweet maybe this is like a light strawberry or something in here spicy maybe some baking spices maybe some pepper something tangy i think that's what i'm sniffing all right cheers everyone happy vlogmas 16. Mm. it's good it's not going to be my favorite wine i think i don't think i'm really a fond of cranberry it just gives it a tartness back here so if you love cranberry i think you would love this wine um, i do taste notes of cinnamon maybe cinnamon here uh, the strawberry, something spicy like a black pepper, maybe even a green pepper, something spicy, something kind of hot in there, giving it a little bit of heat. I'm going to have a little bit more. It's not bad, but it's probably not my favorite because I think the cranberry just kind of is accentuated more and I'm not really a fan of cranberry but if you like cranberry i think you are going to love this i mean it's not bad if somebody served it and i was over a friend's house and they had it i wouldn't complain i would just drink it and you know i'm going to finish the bottle it's going to take me a while because i got all these advent wines but yeah i mean i wouldn't turn it away but i wouldn't go out of my way if they put this as one of my recommendations i probably wouldn't add it to my box but it's not bad 
Alrighty, so we're going to, need to do something different. And like I said, they give you, when you get your, this doesn't really want to stay off the shoulder, but that's okay. They give you like a, a meal idea to have with it. So I thought since I wasn't doing all the boxes at once, um, I would just kind of try, try this one. So for this wonderful wine company, they say it pairs well with a vegan lasagna with roasted vegetables. But, you know, I, you could click on the recipe, but I had a recipe that I have that I like for some um, spinach type lasagna with ricotta and like an Alfredo sauce. So I did that to have with it. I figured that was close enough. But let's tell you what it tells us about the wine. So it's a 2020 Tempranillo um, from Spain. Out of the five, it was rated 3.9, so it does have a really nice rating. Um, they say it's a medium body, 13.2% alcohol. Um, tasting notes are black pepper, cinnamon, cranberry, and strawberry. It's a dynamic Spanish red that's made with certified organic grapes. I'm going to kind of go to the end of this. Um, it's a striking example of the variety from the homeland of Sp Spain, known as much for its dusty spice characteristic as its jubilant red fruit notes. This is a well-balanced red that's easy drinking, 118 calories in a glass, 4.4 carbs. They say to serve it, then let it warm up in the glass, and it pairs well with Thai pasta with red sauce, salad, and fries. But for me, a vegetable lasagna, I like with my Alfredo sauce, so I think it's gonna be fine. And I think it's kind of cut and slice right here. So I've got some chopped spinach in here. I got some, mozza some mozzarella, I got some ricotta cheese in here and um, like an alfredo sauce and some some carrots i just got some shredded carrots and put that in there as well so anyway that is my dinner for friday night and vlogmas number 16. thank you guys for spending the whole week with me again i really appreciate it haven't figured out what i'm going to do for tomorrow morning i might just sleep in and then um, do something tomorrow night but anyway thanks again everyone i hope you go out enjoy the weekend have fun everyone take care stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have fun and we will see you guys in the next video love you guys so much catch you in the next video